Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting and you like what you see, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell and select all to be notified of new postings. Today I am sharing some decorating on top of my kitchen cabinetry. I have several new decor pieces that I will be working with. Many of these items I shared in previous decor hauls. I will link those videos at the end of this video. The theme in my kitchen is sunflowers, lemons, and ferns surrounded by aged chippy goodness. I have been very busy packing and my mind is just twirling away with wonderful ideas for my new cottage. But first, I still have a few things to share in my home now. Now, working with this, these, this cabinetry, it was quite a bit of work. This is a lot of going up and down on the ladder, up and down on the ladder. I place it up there. Hopefully, I like what I see when I get back down and I step back and take a look. And if I don't, I have to get right back up there and resituate things to my liking. So, at my new house, I'm looking forward to not having this open space up above my cabinetry because it is quite a bit of work. I much prefer working out of cabinets. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? I'm first going to line the outside edges of the cabinetry with these garlands, these fern garlands I purchased from Target. I place these three lemon prints I purchased from the at-home store. And now we are going to make a clock basket. That's right, a clock basket. I'm going to start with this fern wreath from Target. a bunch of sunflowers from Hobby Lobby, and some fern. That came from Hobby Lobby as well. I'm just gonna place the sunflowers right inside the fern. It's just as simple as that. I'm gonna tuck it over here to the left-hand side. I'm going to place in this book because I need a little bit of height. And this is actually a new find. I'm not supposed to still be shopping, but I kind of am. Fell in love with this chippy clock at Hobby Lobby. The yellow is just Perfect. I'm just going to tuck it in here to the side. And now up front, I am going to add some greenery picks that were purchased from Hobby Lobby. It'll help hold the clock in there snugly. And there we have it, a clock basket.
I'm going to add just a little bit more fern. Perfect. Now for our next arrangement. This rooster bucket came from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to drape this greenery from the side of the bucket. And the greenery was purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'm not going to fuss too much with this arrangement because it is going up high on the cabinetry. Some pond grass. $9.99 at Hobby Lobby. Remember, wait for those 50% off sales and get two for the price of one. Sometimes those tags, they're just so tricky. I'm gonna spread apart the branches a little bit. Oops, and just have it go to the side. I'm just, I, I will be playing with it a little bit here, weaving things in and out some more, I'm sure. I'm going to add some of this greenery I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Again, this greenery reminds me of that movie, The Lorax, $9.99. a gorgeous color green to work with with the brown branches just wonderful elements next we're gonna add a little pop of sunshine yellow it was originally $9.99 I did get a couple of these and only a couple because there was just a couple on clearance. There was two dollars, I believe it was either 45 cents, 54 cents. I wish there was more of them. Again, you just pull apart the stems. Just going to place it in here and weave things through. So I'm pretty much just going to have things going over to the left hand side. The majority of it anyhow. And I'm going to add one more greenery pick. It's kind of empty right there. And it's just as simple as that. Again, I know I'm going to fuss with it a little bit. So I placed it up in the corner and I added some lights up at top and the farm charm came from Hobby Lobby. I did my best to brighten up the top of the cabinetry. It's just so dark up there. I 
and to both sides of the farm charm, I added wonderful chippy roosters that were purchased from the at-home store. I placed lemon plates behind them. The plates were purchased from New River Pottery. I wish I had another plate to put in front of them, but I just don't have anything right now. And then I added my artichokes in front of the lemon plates and they were purchased from the at-home store as well. Now for this left-hand corner, it needs some color. There we have it, our clock basket. Perfect, it just really makes this corner stand out. I just love the yellows and the greens and the white chippy goodness, it's just perfect. Now I'm going to add a little bit in here with the lemon prints. I'm going to add these hurricane candle votives that were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And next to them I put some green moss balls. Now I don't have any risers because I packed them. So we'll see if I can possibly find some this weekend and some, I added some yellow flowers. Now for the last piece of cabinetry, it's very dark. It needs to be cheered up quite a bit. And nothing brings cheer like wonderful sunflowers. So I just had one bushel of sunflowers and I pulled apart the branches and I added my Arthur Court canister sets. I just took the lid off one and put the rooster there. Now I do want to add a fern behind these sunflowers but I sort of ran out so I will be adding one to that. I placed my sunflower nesting buckets over on the right hand side. And an apothecary jar of lemons. And behind the buckets I added a fern wreath. And up front for the final touch, a yellow wreath that was purchased from New River Pottery. was such a joy decorating the top of this cabinetry. Tiring at times going up and down, but a joy nonetheless. <laughs>